It's your boy, Jay Black. Shouting out the motherfucking PG bloggers. They putting in motherfucking work. You know what I mean? They going everywhere. They going to events. Heavy. They everywhere. If you ain't subscribed to PG bloggers, I don't know what you're doing. You fucking up. What are you doing, bro? Black. Are you and uh, you and Sis still thinking about doing a two on two? Yeah, that's my guy. That's my guy. And would that that would be the partner you would choose if you had to pick for a two on two, or between him and and, uh, and Ness? Him and Ness. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. How would you guys uh, go up against like a gun title for an NWX? Oh, uh, you know that's what we do though. That's what we do. You can't you can't say gun titles without Philadelphia. Mm. I mean, we can go back. Uh, I can take you back 12 years ago for footage. We can show you the way we've been going that. That's what we do. You cannot say mm. gun title without the fucking murder camp. It's Philadelphia. That's what we do. What was the uh because a lot of a lot of people and you know there's footage of you battling when you were real, real young. Mm -hmm. What was the um if you remember the exact age when you first started battling? Uh, or like your first battle on camera. Do you remember exactly how old you were? On camera, uh sixteen. Sixteen, okay. On camera. Uh Philly vs. Harrisburg. Yeah, 16 years old. Off camera, 14. Okay. Uh, 14, because I started rapping like 10, taking it serious at like 12. Right. So like 13, 14, I was polished, and I started battling in my hood, getting my name up. Was there somebody that like influenced you, or did, was that just like the culture of where you grew up? Uh, that well, people were a, just battling like on the corners and stuff? It was a lot of influence. Uh, welcome home to one of my brothers. Uh, his name is Nino Brown. Um, Back in the day, I'm not sure if you guys are familiar, but it was a big independent uh, rap group back in the day called Takedown Records. And uh, right. Ace Capone and uh, Tim Gotti, they got invited, you know, doing some illegal things. And, you know, the, the situation, you know, went down the drain, but one of my homies went away for, uh, for 10 years in the feds and he just came home. And um, he influenced me, really, you know what I mean? He's not a big rapper, the world doesn't know him yet, but they will. And um, More rapping or battling? Both. Both? Mm. Both. You know, he was the first guy I seen on the corner, like, 50 dudes in a circle, and he just got the whole crowd like, oh, shit, people, oh, man, he's saying the craziest shit, and I wanted to do that. Right. You know what I'm saying? I wanted that. I wanted that love, and he, I would go to him and, and be like, bro, listen to this. He'd be like, yo, you're getting better. You know, by the third time, he was looking at me like, the fuck? Mm. Putting that pen to work. You know what I mean? Right. Speaking of, like, today, Child does anyone... Nino Brown. Right. Um, does anyone influence you today? Or is anyone you look up to right now? Any battle rappers you're like, yo, that guy is, he's crazy. Like, I, I can learn from him, shit like that. I don't look up to anyone. I said I'm too good, you know what I mean? But mm -hmm. I don't look up to anyone, but um, I admire a couple dudes and I salute a couple dudes. You know what I mean? I'm not blind to the fact I see dudes out here working. Right. It's not like I'm like, oh, I admire him and, you know, I want to take some notes from him. It's more like they, you know, motivate me to put my pen to work, you know what I mean? But I don't, I don't really admire anyone in battle rap. Right. Battle anybody else in Philly? From Philly? No, nah, that era is done. That's done? You know what I'm saying? That era is done, you know what I mean? Uh, people don't understand. Um, that was a wave amongst us. That wave that we did, that 2005, me and Joey Jahad going back and forth. Me and Chief Raw going back and forth. You, you know, and the list goes on. That was a wave. And right now, we're trying to get this money, man. You know, we older now, you know what I mean? We got families, children, bills. It's time to get this money. You, you think any of these industry cats can come back? And We've seen a few try it. Budden came back, Cassidy came back. Yeah. Cannabis. Cannabis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a whole nother You know story. what I'm saying? Cannabis was my, one of my favorites. Yeah. Back in the day, he was one of my favorites, man. Like, I thought that... I'm, I'm like Jay-Z fan for life. Right. My category is weird. Jay Z's my favorite rapper ever, but Nas is my favorite rapper. Mm. We have this debate a lot yeah. too. And Tupac is my favorite rapper. Like, yeah. it's weird. But Cannabis was one of the greats, and to see him come back and do that, pull out the so notepad. It was like not Cannabis, not you, bro, not you. <laughs> can't be you. It can't be you. Would you ever consider going to like a King of the Dot? Yeah, I would, you know. 
I would fuck with them. I definitely want to go over there. Like Bullpen, John John's League down in Atlanta. Yeah, I've been checking that out. I'm with all that shit. I'm yeah. with it all, man. I'm just hip hop, man. Yeah, you how much do you, how much do you like battling? I do like battling. I, I like it a lot. It's adrenaline, you know what okay. I mean? It's competition. Right. You know, it, it, it's like dogs, man. You know, you, I'm dominant. You know what I'm saying? Big dog. Sport of hip hop. Simple. You know what I mean? You're mm -hmm. on my territory. Sniffing my let's ass. Go. Let's get it. You know what I mean? We, you know what I mean? Like that's what I'm about. Like. I'm going to always be that way, you know what right. I mean? I think I could get as big as a Meek Mill, big as a Drake, and still would come back, back down and, and be like, you know, for the right price and for the love yeah. of hip-hop, I'm going to step off this pedestal because right. I just sold three million records right. and still battle. Right. Win, lose, or draw, that's hip-hop.